Are we live on this thing? Are we on? I think so. Hey guys, what is up? My name is Jason Lloyd and in my video today we are going to be looking at five stocks that I hold in my portfolio. We're going to be diving into an analysis and I'm going to be explaining to you why I think they're a good idea for you to consider holding in your portfolio for future dividends and growth. Now my channel is all about investing and entrepreneurship so if either of those things sound like a good idea to you and interest you then do make sure to stick around, then do make sure to stick around, subscribe down below and join me on this journey together so you can learn from my mistakes and grow in confidence confidence with investing. Let's get into the video. So guys, welcome back to my video. I hope everyone is having a wonderful week. So far, the markets this week have been going absolutely nuts. My portfolio has gone up more than 10% in the start since the last three weeks, which is crazy. Usually, most people see a return of between 4 and 9% a year on average in the stock market. So in order to be up 10% in just three weeks alone is massive. So I've obviously been doing my research right, so I know what I'm talking about because none of this stuff is a gamble. None of this is a risk. This is all my own due diligence from years and years of work and research, knowing what companies to invest in and because we have seen that huge drop recently in the stock market prices due to the current COVID-19 and of course the upcoming recession, that is now a potential possibility. I have spread my wealth into a massive diversification into my portfolio, into different companies and different sectors to look for the best investments possible for my future growth. Now, five of the stocks that we're going to be talking about today. So I can't wait. A lot of work went into this video. So please do make sure to like this video if you do enjoy the content and you found this useful. If I do get over 25 likes in this video, then I will also upload a new video by the end of the week showing you five risky stocks that I put into my portfolio as well for those extra really big gains, hopefully, over the long term. Now, the five stocks that I'm going to be talking to you about today in today's video are obviously very, very well established companies. They have been around for generations. I really believe in them as companies and they have a great business model. So these are really solid companies. Some of these are dividend kings and dividend aristocrats. So that means that they have actually grown their dividend year on year, sometimes up to 50 years without cutting that dividend short at all of a penny. So if you think about that, these companies are solid, they are set in stone and they know their stuff. So these are good investments that I believe for a future that everyone should maybe consider putting into their portfolio. So let's get into it, starting with number one on the list, ticker symbol V for Visa. Now, Visa are 61 years old and they have a payment process of $8.8 .8 trillion every single year. This is massive. They process 60% of payments on credit and debit cards in the market globally. They are internationally in 200 different countries, which is huge. They have a revenue of $23 billion and a profit margin of 53%. Last year, they did 138 billion transactions this company is solid. They pay a dividend payout, which I believe is going to go up year on year once we do see this return of stability in the markets. They do have an annual earnings per share of 29%, which is mega. They are definitely one of the leaders in this market. And guys, this company is not going anywhere. Even during the recession, people are going to be using their Visa cards. They're going to be using these debit and credit cards to pay on things like Amazon. They're going to be paying for online shopping. So these cards, even though they're seeing a withdrawal right now because we're not shopping in malls during this recession, they are going to still see those nice payments because obviously we are all shopping online and people need their cards. And obviously the cards they're going to be using are Visa and MasterCards. And if Visa are already dominating the market, then they're going to continue to grow year on year, even if we are in a lockdown scenario. So this is one company that you may want to consider popping into your portfolio. Check them out. Do your research. They are currently selling at $193 per share. In all fairness, I do think is quite high right now, considering obviously there is an upcoming recession, but do look out for when they do have a drop down and hopefully they will see a nice range sit in between somewhere of $170 or lower, in which case would be a great opportunity to buy in my opinion. Which brings me to number two on my list, ticker symbol FB for Total. Now Total have been around for 96 years. This is a company that is solid, they are set, they have thousands and thousands of employees and they have a really good balance sheet. Now they currently pay a dividend of 8.7% which is huge. So not only are you going to see that potential to upscale your growth long term with these holds, but you're also going to be getting that lovely dividend payment every quarter. And this company right now, in my opinion, is undervalued by about 30 or 40%. So we should really see some up market scaling once things return to normal and obviously oil prices will move up when the economies open back up. 
Now, if you're not interested, obviously, in trading with FP, there are other options to consider. Maybe consider putting in Conoco Phillips into your portfolio. They have an amazing balance sheet and they are also another solid company that have been around for 134 years and they're not paying as much of a dividend, but the potential for growth there is huge. Also, if you're not interested in them, then you've also got Royal Dutch Excel, which are another winner in my eyes. They actually do make up quite a large sum of my portfolio currently as well, because their dividend is 10% right now, which is mega. So not only, again, are you going to see that upscale with growth when the economies open back up and oil prices start to move and we return to normal, but you're also going to be seeing that lovely dividend of 10%. So these are companies that I would say are currently undervalued. I would be putting them in my portfolio. I'm always looking for new buy opportunities right now while the market's starting to move up and reposition myself with buy more oil so if that is something you need to consider do make sure you do your research first because I am not a financial advisor and I will not be responsible for any of your actions so do make sure that if you are going to invest in any oil companies that I've spoken about just to dive in on their balance sheets you can find everything on Yahoo Finance if you would like me to do a breakdown of one particular company then two please write down below in the comments and I will do my best to get a video out to you as soon as I can now number three on my list is that like button so guys do make sure to destroy that like button because it really does help out with YouTube algorithm and guys it really helps out with the channel and a lot of work went into this video so I'd really appreciate it if you did destroy that like button for me but anyway let's get on to the next ticker symbol MCD for McDonald's now McDonald's is a solid company if you haven't heard of McDonald's then I don't know who you are so just leave the room <laughs> anyway McDonald's are a dividend aristocrat growing their dividend year on year for 43 years without cutting that dividend once so they are soon going to be titled with a dividend king if they continue with the growth that they have been having now under the current economic crisis they are now starting to open up for takeaway service for drive-in so they are not only expanding themselves globally as a company during the recession but they are also going to see those profits long term as well so I'm not worried about them going anywhere and I'm also not worried about them leaving our economy anytime soon because they have really set themselves up for success as a company and as a business model they are forever changing this is a global company that is in over 200 countries so they are doing extremely well for themselves now another fact that you probably didn't know about McDonald's is they actually own all of the real estate to their franchises which is massive not not only are they a food consumer group but they are also a real estate group because if you think how many properties they lease out to their owners across the world globally that is a lot of real estate they are absolutely raking in their cash so not only is this a good business model because of their business but they've also got their hand in that pocket of real estate as well so this is a company that I don't see going anywhere anytime soon and they are soon to be a dividend king as I said in the beginning so this is a company that you might want to consider putting into your portfolio because I do think that this company will grow every single year coming out of this recession which brings me to number four on the list which is ticker symbol JNJ for Johnson & Johnson. Now, Johnson & Johnson are an American pharmaceutical company that are in the field of healthcare. This is a really, really great option to consider putting into your portfolio because this is gonna also help make your portfolio even more diverse. Not everyone thinks to cover themselves into the healthcare section. So it is a really good idea, as I've always said in my other videos, to make sure that you're spreading your wealth equally into different sections of the stock market because there's no point in putting all your eggs in one basket because if that basket is gonna break and you have all of your shares, for example, stuck in the food section, what happens in all the pubs and the restaurants? For example, just as the COVID-19 is having an impact right now, globally, we can see all of the bars and restaurants closing and those stock and share prices across that sector of the food have gone down massively because of course it is affected. So we want to avoid all of these things from happening. So by spreading our wealth into different sections of the stock market and becoming more diverse inside our portfolio, that's where we can avoid these problems from happening. And that is why investing in a pharmaceutical company or the healthcare section can be a very good option to consider. Now, this is one section that I really want you to pay attention to as a tip as a long-term investor. Healthcare is growing year on year as more people are born and people are living longer. So this is a one section of the stock market that you should definitely consider holding and putting into your portfolio to make it more diverse because I think this section is gonna grow rapidly, especially now that we've seen the demand in COVID-19. People's healthcare are gonna increase. People are gonna be paying more for insurances and this is a section to watch out for. Now, J&J are a really, really well-established company. They have been around for generations and they have a dividend currently of 2.6%. They have been growing this dividend by 6% per year on average. And currently, they have been growing this dividend for 57 years, which gives them another title for a dividend king. 
So this is definitely one company that you may want to consider also putting into your portfolio. And they are also in the running for developing a vaccine against COVID-19. So if this is one of the pharmaceutical companies that comes up with success, then we are definitely going to see a big jump on their stock price. So this is one to watch. Now this company does have a stock price currently of $194 per share. And I do see them growing year on year and they are going to be a long term hold. So I'm going to be adding myself positions over the years. And this is one company that I will be getting those dividends from every single year without any worry as a long-term holder with a slow growth. So this is definitely a solid company that you may want to consider popping into your portfolio. Which brings me to my last stock today, number five, ticker symbol BNS Bank of Nova Scotia, sitting currently at around $40 per share. Now, Bank of Nova Scotia is a Canadian bank stock. Canadian banks are an absolute all-time favorite of mine. Why? Because they have been around for generations. Bank of Nova Scotia has actually been around for 188 years, as well as Bank of Canada, which has been around for 202. Now, these are two of my favorite stocks that I hold in my portfolio because they pay an excellent dividend and they have been known to not be cut in their dividends, especially in times of recession. They have made it through some of the hardest times on this planet. They have been through the recession. They went through the financial crisis in 2008 and 2009, and they didn't even cut their dividends, unlike all other banks out there. Bank of Nova Scotia did also release their quarterly earnings and they have announced that for the third quarter of this year they will not be cutting their dividends by 90 cents per quarter, which is excellent news for anyone that does hold shares in them. And even though Bank of Nova Scotia's profits fell by 40% this last quarter due to loan loss provisions, more than doubling since 2019, Brian Porter, the CEO of Scotia Bank, said that the bank and all its operating divisions continue to be profitable and that the bank is well positioned from a capital and liquidity perspective and it is appropriately reserved for credit losses, which means they have enough capital to absorb any more losses. So Nova Scotia's transition towards a digital adoption is improving. Their in-branch transactions are decreasing, which may also be impacted heavily right now due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but we can see a rise in their digital atmosphere. Over time, this will reduce their overhead expenses such as branches opening and employees' wages, which is good for Scotiabank long-term. And guys, the book value for Bank of Nova Scotia is currently estimated at $53.50. Five cents, meaning it is currently undervalued at around 20% because it is around the $45 range and lower. This is something you should always be looking out for as an investor. Buying a share at a price that is undervalued is one of the key and most principal tools you should be looking for because that is how you're going to generate your wealth. Now it's worth noting that these bank stocks are still down about 30 or 40% from their all time highs within the last year or two. So that is a huge massive growth potential right there. And on top of that, Canadian governments do have their hand in a lot of the banking sector in Canada. So I really think if something was to happen that the Canadian government would step in and these banks would get huge billion dollar bailouts. And even though these banks have been hit pretty hard right now, I'm not too worried because banks will always find a way to make money. So in the future, I do believe that these stocks will fly back up to their normal levels. So these banks are definitely something you may want to consider putting into your portfolio with such an amazing history and such an amazing growth of their dividend yield. So guys, we've actually talked and analyzed through five different sectors that you could potentially invest your money into your portfolio. We've talked about health, we've talked about consumer and food, we've also talked about the oil and gas industry, we've talked about banking and finance, and we have talked about Visa, MasterCard, and payment processing. So I get really excited when I talk about all five of these stocks if you can't tell. So maybe some of these companies are ones that you would like to consider popping into your own portfolio for future holds and to get those nice dividend growths. I hope this video has inspired you. I hope you found the content very useful and I hope you've gained some knowledge into some of the stocks that I'm holding into my portfolio and it's given you the confidence to want to continue investing in your future and become potential shareholders in some of these companies for future and long-term growth reasons. Now, if you're wondering where you can get started with investing, I hold an account with 212 Trading. They actually give a free stock up to 100 pounds when you deposit one pound with them if you use my affiliate link which i will leave in the description below so do make sure you check that out and definitely take advantage of it because you don't want to miss out on that free cash that they are throwing at you especially during this time now a little insight and a little secret that i'll tell you is my portfolio has actually gone up 12% in the last two weeks. So that is huge and I'm very, very excited to share that with you guys. And so guys, if you have enjoyed this video, then please do destroy that like button for me and do make sure to subscribe and stick around for future content because it helps out with the channel more than you know so that you can get future tips on investing and get a passive income. And as I said in the beginning, if I get more than 25 likes on this video, then I will go into an in-depth analysis onto five risky stocks that I'm holding in my portfolio to hopefully see that upscale of about 100 or 200 
100% growth on those companies when things return to normal if we expect to have the economies booming by the end of 2021 where they were previously at the beginning of this year anyway whatever you do i hope you have a wonderful week ahead and i hope you have enjoyed this video today thanks for joining me and i'll see you back on my channel for my next video see you soon